Now we have uh, EU Commissioner from uh, Brussels and uh, I'm glad to speak with you about uh, the topic of uh, future of work. And uh, what do you think about this uh, G20 meeting? Is this helpful to develop there some new ideas or concepts? Of course it is, uh, it is important. We must not forget that we live in a globalized world. It means that our economy, our society is, uh, is more and more integrated. And uh, on top of this, we have also uh, the digitalization that is, uh, that is even uh, making globalization uh, going faster. So we have to look together how we will shape the future. And this is one of the themes here. We cannot just undergo it. That is also what I say to the European citizens. We cannot just wait and sit and see what's going to happen. No, we must, we must, we, we must be aware of what's going on and we must create a future, we must shape it ourselves and we have it in our hands. And this means that we have to come to standards together. Yes, uh, how, uh, according to which uh, standards do we want to organize our life? We always say that Europe is built on values. Mm -hmm. It's not only human rights, it's also social protection, it's uh, the social market economy. We need to have uh, growth, economic growth, but also social progress. And they are going together and they are reinforcing each other. But we must organize this for the future because the institutions we have now, they are from the former century. And we have to see that they are fit for purpose for the 21st. So I think it's very important to make it possible that also in the years ahead, in the decennia ahead, people can have a job, they have access to skills, they have good working conditions, and if needed, they have access to social protection and fundamental services. Mm -hmm. And we must adapt it to the changes, to the globalization and to the globalization. And therefore, it's good that we do not only look into our own little problems of today and yesterday, but that we look forward, we discuss it together, and we develop common standards. I think this is of an utmost importance. And where can you do that better than in the G20? Exactly. Where it's not only about how are we going to organize our economy, but it's also about how are we going to organize the social dimension of this global world. Mm -hmm. uh, what did you think about uh, uh, the participation of the children of schools today with this kind of projects? Uh, did you enjoy it or is it nonsense for you? What do you think about it? This is absolutely no nonsense. It's very good that, uh, that uh, the minister uh, went to the schools, asked them to work around it. By preparing that video, they did not only make a video, but they were talking and discussing about this, I'm sure. They were talking to their friends when they are outside the class in their sport clubs at yeah. home, uh, uh, with their cousins and so on. And it, it creates awareness. It shows those young people that they are not left alone, that things are changing. Many young people, and especially their parents, they think that the children of today will, or the young people of today, will not have a situation that is as good as we will, we have. We are afraid sometimes that the, the next generation uh, will be worse off than the former one. And this has nev never happened in 70 years in Europe. Mm -hmm. And we don't want it for the future. So we mm -hmm. have to work, to adapt, to prepare the future, to shape it ourselves. And this is an important message that goes to those young people. We have the future in our hands. We are working and at it. They also have to take their responsibility, see that they have the right skills, uh, go to school, uh, do what they can, uh, and yeah, uh, pre be prepared for lifelong learning. Yeah, that's a good uh, conclusion, yeah. Thanks a lot. Uh, I'm glad that we had also a statement from the European Union. And uh, I wish you still a good progress in this conference. Thank, Thank you. you very much.